Have you ever wondered why anacondas don't have a problem with Weight Watchers? Now that's a question that might tickle the curiosity of many. So, let's unravel the enigma of the anaconda, shall we? Originating from the tropical South America, the anaconda, or as the locals call it, Eunectes, is a name that sends shivers down the spine. This word fascinatingly comes from the Greek language translating to good swimmer. Quite apt for a creature that spends most of its life in water, don't you think? Now let's talk about size, because when it comes to anacondas, size does matter. These serpentine behemoths are not your average garden snakes. The green anaconda, the largest of its kind, can grow up to 25 feet in length. That's about as long as a school bus. And their weight? Some hefty anacondas tip the scales at a staggering 250 pounds. That's like carrying around a full-sized refrigerator. Their bodies are covered in thick, olive green scales, adorned with black blotches that serve as perfect camouflage in their swampy habitats. And their heads, well, they're not exactly snake-like. They're more arrow-shaped, with nostrils and eyes positioned high on the skull. This allows them to stealthily lurk beneath the water surface while keeping an eye on potential prey. These creatures are not just enormous, they're strong too. Imagine a python that's been hitting the gym for years. That's an anaconda for you. They're so strong that they can easily constrict and swallow a full-grown deer or even a caiman. I wouldn't want to be on their dinner menu. So, the next time you're complaining about carrying that heavy grocery bag, remember, there's an anaconda out there, effortlessly hauling around its own body weight, and then some. And you thought your pet cat was a heavyweight, wait till you meet an anaconda. Ever wondered what an anaconda's cheat day looks like? Well, let's dive into the fascinating and slightly terrifying world of an anaconda's dietary habits. Anacondas, those enormous slithering denizens of the South American wetlands, are not picky eaters. They're quite the gourmands of the reptile world actually, their diet broadly comprises anything that moves and sometimes even things that don't. Their appetites are as large as their bodies and their meals are, well, let's just say they're not light snacks. Large rodents, capybaras and caimans are on their culinary hit list. Think about it. A capybara is the world's largest rodent, about the size of a medium-sized dog. That's like us deciding to gobble up a whole turkey for a midday snack. But wait, it gets wilder. Even deer are on the menu for these giant serpents. Now imagine sitting down for lunch and deciding to eat an entire deer. That's right, antlers, hooves and all. An anaconda doesn't shy away from such a hearty meal. And for the pièce de résistance, these mighty snakes have been known to take down and devour jaguars. Yes, jaguars, one of the most formidable predators in the animal kingdom. That's like us deciding to eat, well, there's really no comparison in the human world, is there? Anacondas achieve these impressive culinary feats thanks to their jaws, which are not fused together like ours. Their jaw bones are connected by stretchy ligaments, allowing them to swallow whole animals much larger than their head. This is not a daily occurrence, though. Anacondas, like many large snakes, eat infrequently due to the energy it takes to digest such large meals. They might only eat a few times a year, making every meal a true feast. So next time you're struggling to finish your salad, remember? An anaconda would scoff down a whole deer. Ever thought about anaconda's love life? Well, it's more twisted than a soap opera. Now, when it comes to the romantic entanglements of these slithering serpents, the term the more the merrier takes on a whole new meaning. Just try to imagine this. A single lady anaconda lounging in a swamp sends out a pheromone-filled invitation to all the eligible bachelors around. And believe me, they come slithering. The result? A literal snake ball, or as scientists like to call it, a breeding ball. Picture a tangled knot of up to a dozen male anacondas, all vying for the attention of one lucky lady. It's like a reality show where the lady anaconda is the bachelorette and the male anacondas are the contestants. But here's where things take a dark and gloomy turn. You see, anaconda courtship isn't all about cuddles and hisses. The males have to wrestle, coil and squeeze each other out of the competition. It's a test of strength, endurance and perhaps a dash of snake charm. The last one coiling is the winner. But don't think the story ends with a happily ever after. Oh no, dear listeners, the plot thickens. After the mating ritual, when the triumphant male is basking in his victory, the female often decides that she's peckish. And guess what's on the menu? That's right, the male anaconda himself. Talk about a post-romantic dinner. It's a cruel twist of fate, a gloomy end to what was a fierce competition of love. But that's the way of the anaconda world. Brutal, bizarre, yet fascinating. So the next time you're feeling down about your love life, remember the anacondas. It might give you some perspective. 
After all, it's not every day you have to worry about being your partner's next meal. So if you thought your love life was complicated, just be glad you're not an anaconda. Ever seen an anaconda at a pool party? They're the life and soul. Imagine a disco ball spinning over the watery dance floor. Blue and green scales shimmering in the light, an anaconda slithers into the water. Now this isn't just a casual dip. Our scaled friend is an expert swimmer, a veritable Michael Phelps of the snake world. Anacondas are known to spend most of their time in water, but why? Well, it's not just because they enjoy a good backstroke. You see, the water is their hunting ground. It's where they're most agile, most stealthy, and most deadly. Think about it. An anaconda in water is like a comedian on stage, a chef in a kitchen, or a fish in, well, water. It's where they perform best. They glide through the water with such grace, such ease, you'd think they were born doing the butterfly stroke. And in a way they were. But here's where things get a little gloomy. Picture this. You're a capybara, taking a leisurely swim in the Amazon River. Out of nowhere a set of beady eyes and a snout pop up from the depths. Before you can say Marco Polo, you're in the anaconda's grip, being squeezed tighter than a tube of toothpaste. The anaconda uses its strength and the buoyancy of the water to constrict its prey. It's a deadly dance, a tango of terror. The more the prey struggles, the tighter the anaconda squeezes. It's not exactly a pool party anyone would want to be invited to, but don't worry, unless you're a capybara or a caiman, you're not on the anaconda's menu. They prefer their meals a little more wild, a little more exotic. Us humans were just not their taste. So, next time you're at the pool, remember, an anaconda could be doing laps right next to you. Anacondas might not have a dark side, but they sure do have a gloomy one. Let's delve into the darker aspects of these fascinating creatures. While they are not typically human hunters, their sheer size and strength can pose a threat if provoked or if a human finds themselves in the wrong place at the wrong time. Their massive body strength allows them to constrict and overpower not just smaller prey, but animals as large as jaguars and even caimans. Imagine that, a snake wrestling with a caiman in the murky waters of the Amazon. It's a sight as awe-inspiring as it is terrifying. Now let's take a moment to talk about anacondas in local mythologies. Folklore in South America often paints the anaconda as a creature of immense power and mystery. Some indigenous tribes even believe that these gargantuan serpents are the guardians of rivers and lakes, and to harm one is to invite disaster. In a slightly more humorous vein, there's also the myth of the Yaku Mama, or Mother of Water. This is a legendary anaconda said to be over 120 feet long. It's a creature so massive it can swallow a whole cow in one gulp. Just imagine the heartburn from that meal. But let's not get carried away with these tall tales. The real anaconda, while formidable, is not the monstrous predator of legend. They play a vital role in their ecosystem, controlling populations of other animals and maintaining balance in their environment. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it, right? So, there you have it. The crazy, hilarious yet slightly gloomy world of anacondas. Remember, they might not make the best pets, but they sure do make for great stories. Now who's up for a swim in the Amazon? Just kidding, of course. Or am I?